Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at some of the features that have been uh, released with the new Windows 10 Spring Edition update uh, which has been rolled out now by Microsoft. So first off this, just take a look here. You can see I am running the latest version on my main system now. So this is not on a virtual machine. This is on my main system. And you can already see here this uh, sort of gradient or translucent look here to the uh, bar here. If you have a look uh, at the little highlighter there, that's another feature they've added in. So let me just quickly show you on the menu system here, you can see they've added this little gradient overlay so it highlights a little bit easier. And you can also see here that they've added in uh, the documents and the pictures on the side here as well. Now also looking over on the uh, window here on the side, if you look at the Microsoft Store or any other of these ones here, you can right click on these, go to more and you can see app settings. It will take you straight to app settings by clicking on this, as you can see here, which is very, very useful um, if you want to uh, terminate or do other stuff with it, like repair and things like that. So it allows you to go to any of the places here. So for instance, the uh, Microsoft Store, we can go to app settings and it takes you straight here. So very, very useful. Another thing that we can do here is take a look down on the bottom right here. And uh, if you look here at the sound, if you right click on this, you can see they've changed the uh, way the sound uh, menu looks. If you open up the sound settings here, this will open up this area here. And you can see now that we've got different settings here. They've changed this and give this a good revamp here. You've got your troubleshoot here. You can do your input and this is choose your output here. You've got your list of stuff that you can choose, which is very nice as well. Another added feature here, which is really useful uh, for people, which is the other sound options, which is app volume and uh, device preferences. When you click on this here, this will bring you to this area here where you can add in uh, your own uh, presets that you want to do uh, to this. So when you start opening up uh, programs, as you can see here, I've got the uh, recorder running here. It allows you to add in your default audio. So you don't have to keep changing it. So if you had a game here, uh, you could uh, make it uh, through your headphones and stuff like that. So if you keep going in and changing, as you can see here. So very, very useful uh, input and output, as you can see there. So not too bad. I do like that feature a lot. So let me just go to the uh, start button here and go to settings. And as you can see here, they've added an overlay to these areas here. You can see like a little box round here and you look between these two little lines here. You can see them a light a lighting up there. It just makes it a lot more easier to see what you're doing here. So I do like that a lot. And uh, if you go into uh, system here. And go to display. On the display area, you still have the night light, uh, which is added in on the last update. But when you come down here, which is another new setting, which is the graphics setting, which is another great uh, area here. Now, what you can do here is you can add in your games and also other apps. So, for instance, if we go to uh, Universal app here, you can select an app from here as well. So, for instance, Netflix, you can add and you can add Netflix in here. And of course, when you click on this, it gives you some options here and you can then say uh, system default, uh, power saving or high performance. And you can see here it's given you that option, which is a nice added feature. And there's also another area here, which is the classic app, which you can also add in by hitting the browse button here and go into your games folder. And as you can see here, you can just add in a game like so, and it will add your game in. And of course, what you can then do is click on this and you can then go to options here and you can give it its preference. I.e., It's on system default at the moment, but if you want to give this a uh, high performance, you can do by just putting high performance here. And if it's a minor game, which doesn't need a lot of performance, then you can say, for instance, if it was like uh, another game, you can put in there, uh, put a lower 
uh, performance on there if you want to. So that's just another added feature they've added in uh, to the latest update. So if you wanted to uh, change uh, the uh, UI, which is what they've done here, they've done a lot of work on it. If you wanted to go in there, you can go into ease of access here and you should see simplify and personalize windows. And you can see here show uh, transparency in window and this is this area and all the other areas here you can turn this off and it will just become a thick block of color but if you see that you can see the trees uh, behind there uh, when I turn this on and off and it also affects the um, down the bottom here the taskbar so if I leave this on and then we open the taskbar up a lot more you'll see it going behind the taskbar here a little bit not sure if that's picking it up so those are the uh, tweaks there. You can make other changes as well uh, on there. Another area that may uh, interest you, which they have now changed, which is inside here. Uh, once you go back in here, you can go into system. And uh, if you look down here and look for focus assist, you can see here, you can choose when notifications you'd like to see or hear. So you can basically change a lot of this. So priority only, and you can cross, uh, you can go into here and customize your priority list, as you can see here, uh, show incoming VoIP calls, incoming texts and so on. So you've got a load of that that's been changed. Also alarms only, you can uh, change this as well. So you can see here, once you put into alarms only, you can do automatic rules. And once you go into automatic, automatic rules, you can put during these times. So you can put this on and you can change uh, the, change the priority of the times when you want to uh, have this done. So you can see here daily, uh, weekly, weekdays, weekends. You could change all this stuff if you wanted to here. And go through a little bit further down. So when you're playing a game, uh, priority only. And you can change this uh, to whenever you like alarms only so if you're a gamer and you don't want to be disturbed you can do that on there as well whereas sometimes when you get an update or something like that it used to just pop up with a box and kick you out of the game and you could be in a crucial moment and uh, you can uh, change all the timings uh, to that as well so that's basically uh, an added uh, feature in there that you can mess around with on the uh, focus assist Okay, so another area which we all like to talk about, which is privacy. And you can see here under the privacy area, uh, this has also had a bit of a makeover in the uh, diagnostic and feedback. Uh, you can see now we have basic send only info about your device and so on. You can change this, this has all been changed here. These have all been added in so we can remove these here. Another interesting area which has been added in, which is delete diagnostic data. This allows you to delete any diagnostic data that has been collected uh, by Microsoft for this device. And you can just randomly delete this. And uh, I'll have to look into this to see whether we can set up uh, some sort of a schedule to delete this on a regular basis um, every day. So um, it, it deletes this and I'll have a look at see if we can uh, set that up. Um, whether that would be possible I'm not sure but I'll have to look into it but yeah so you can delete the diagnostic data that has been collected by Microsoft uh, by just hitting this button here and uh, you can see the last delete request was on the 02 05 2018 which is today now also we can take a look at the Windows Defender and go into update and security Windows security and then open up Windows Defender here. Now you can see here we have some areas that's been added. We have account protection here and you can see sign into your Microsoft account if you have one of these. You also have a dynamic lock uh, which also uh, gives you some uh, settings which you can set up here as well as you can see Windows hello, password, pin, picture and dynamic lock and privacy is also set up on there as well now also going back here we also have uh, device performance and health and also device security adding in inside here as well so it's got some other features and I think they've boosted uh, their cloud 
uh, protection as well on this one so that is the windows defender you also have ransomware protection on here as well which you can control folder access on here uh, via the uh, windows defender security center and uh, i think that was added in uh, on the last update but you can uh, take a look at that and add that in so it protects you with some ransomware as well also we have another feature called timeline which is this icon down here when you click on it it will give you what you've been doing uh, right at the present time and what you was doing a little bit earlier and so on as you can see here earlier today it gives you all the information of what you was doing earlier in the day and uh, gives you all the information right here and you can get to see the timeline right along here which is a really nice added feature uh, for the new windows 10 update it also allows you to erase stuff uh, from uh, here as well so if you want to uh, right click on this it allows you to remove it or clear all from earlier today and it will clear everything on here uh, just like so I'll also leave a link in a video description for this website here, which is Microsoft's document on the what's new in Windows 10 version 1803. And you'll be able to read this and take a look. There's loads of useful information inside here as well. And you can take a look at the previous versions. Now I've not covered all of the stuff here. There is stuff that uh, has been changed uh, and added to. Uh, like for instance uh, Cortana has had some useful stuff added to it and some other features on there as well which you, you can take a look at as well on that website uh, but that's pretty much it that's uh, all the uh, ones that I'd like uh, the changes of and I think it's a good improvement oh there's also another one which I wanted to quickly show you here uh, which is under system and display here and if you come down to uh, let's see advanced it gives you some information here about the system uh, which was quite useful I thought and it takes you straight to the page here so that was another added uh, thing that's quite useful but other than that I think that's going to be about it for this video I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.